Well, this is not the first whiskey to be consumed in Edmonton, but it's the first whiskey to be made here in our city and aged for the uh, required three years in these oak barrels behind us here. And I got a chance to preview it two years ago and it tasted good then, but uh, it finished up really nicely in the barrels and it's just, uh, it is an Edmonton milestone. I'm very proud of uh, this family and this company for the creativity and perseverance that they've displayed. And it shows that you can, you can build a great company that uh, produces great products here that Edmontonians will embrace and that can go hopefully far and beyond. It's a um, pretty proud moment for us to share the first bottle of whiskey with the city of Edmonton because they have been our supporters. Like it's a new tough industry. We're kind of flying by the seat of our pants because we're new. Well, I wanted to build a whiskey that was different from most others. I wanted to use 100% rye. I wanted to use brand new barrels um, with our own toast and char on them. Um, I wanted a whiskey that was real smoky, had a, a lot of depth and character to it. Some vanillas, some caramels, some roasted toffee, uh, a little bit of leather, pipe tobacco notes on the back end of it. I wanted a real cowboy, cowboy style whiskey is what I was going for. I am absolutely happy with it. I'm beyond excited about how, how good it turned out. I would not have released it if it wasn't ready. So we're here today because it is ready. And when we started the business, it was looking into the future. It was something that we were hoping we made it to the three year mark to release, but it was still a wishful thinking. So that's where the eye comes in as we were looking to hopefully get to this day, which we have.